but I had wonderful parents, which they never suggested what I do with my life. They never told me or hinted this would be better than that. They let me find my way and pursue my passions. And so I worked when I was in school. I was a bag boy at a grocery store. And in college, I had a driving job at night. So I would drive overnight to deliver tax forms to 30 different offices. And then I'd sleep during the day during class at college. <laughs> and, um, but they let me go different ways. I quit college one year because I wasn't getting the grades I wanted because I was partying and not taking it seriously. Then I grew up and the grades became easy. They told me later they'd worried a little bit about whether I would ever go back to college, but they didn't say a thing. And of course I was going to and I did. Um, and then I went to graduate school and was able to get into a good graduate school because I got great grades after I grew up and came back to school. But they let me do whatever. And then later on, I was lucky enough to be highly successful in our field and lucky in life. And my dad and mom would say, we don't know. Where did you become so ambitious? We didn't try to teach you that, but you're such an achiever and we didn't push that on you. And I told them, no, you didn't. It's just what I wanted to do with my life, I guess, was do a lot of different things, and this is where it led me. But they were very non-judgmental, very not pushing me in any direction, totally letting me pursue my passions. Sometimes I'm sure they thought they were wrong. Sometimes they may have been right, but either way, they let me find my own way. And for me, it worked out wonderfully. I feel so, so fortunate to have parents like that. Just so fortunate. They were full of love, caring for others, of course, teach you responsibility as a young person as well and, and things you do have to do. But they were very flexible and I am a very, very lucky young man.